Welcome to the Thursday, August 8th, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. In today's video, how New Zealand's powered milk industry impacts imported beef. And later, the chicken wing market appears prime for football season. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Chicago's Vienna Beef has partnered with Mike Ditka to make a new dinner sausage. Dubbed Ditka Sausages, the new line of 8-inch, 1-3rd pound sausages will debut on August 9th in Chicago area Jewel Osco and Mariano stores, among other grocers and select restaurants around the country, and will feature a number of varieties. Ditka's namesake restaurants will also carry the sausages and will be available online for $49.95 per 5-pound box. You can learn more about Mike Ditka's new sausage line and get other protein news from the center of the plate by heading over to foodmarket.com. In other news, developments in New Zealand's powdered milk export market caused some reverberations for imported beef traders. Here's Erneberry Red Beet Market reporter Russell Barton with more. The recent suspension in exports of powdered milk from New Zealand to China was a source of conversation yesterday among those in the imported beef market. This decision from New Zealand's largest trade partner came, from, came shortly after Fonterra, New Zealand's biggest exporter of dairy products and a company that accounts for about a third of the world's dairy trade, announced that several of the batches of whey protein they sold internationally and used in various products, including baby formula, may have been contaminated with a botulism caused bacteria. This news is significant because dairy exports constitute roughly 28% of the total goods exported out of New Zealand, with milk powders making up 15% of that. China represents roughly 30% of the milk powder shipments from New Zealand. Bearish imported beef traders thought that the loss of business could result in a liquidation of dairy animals, which would increase New Zealand beef production. However, many of our sources out of New Zealand dismiss this notion as they see the suspension of dairy trade to China as temporary. New Zealand dairy markets also seem to take the suspension in stride as they were down slightly last night but still much higher than at this time last year. The biggest immediate impact of this regulation was seen in foreign exchange with the New Zealand dollar falling over a cent versus the U.S. dollar following the announcement. As of Wednesday the 7th, the CEO of Fonterra stated that all stocks have been contained, everything is out of the market, and that there is little or no more risk for consumers. Thanks, Russell. We conclude today's show with Ernerberry Poultry Market reporter Terrence Wells analyzing how the chicken wing market appears ready for the fall football season. Observers of the chicken wing market are quick to recognize a seasonal trend when they see one. The recent retreat in market value has become a fairly anticipated event and for good reason. As a rule, the small or medium sized wing is associated with fast food and quick service restaurants. During the summer months, however, demand from food service operators tend to lull before the next anticipated event, which of course is football season. Movement slows during this time and the market can't support the values previously attained. But once demand starts to rear its head, supplies diminish and prices usually advance. So with the sized market appearing to be on more solid ground these days, don't be surprised when this product that's been waiting in the wings begins to take flight. Thanks Terrence. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.